So how do you remove mold from the air within your purifier? Hi, my name is Peter Mann with Aronsi. And today I want to talk about mold, its effect on indoor air quality, and how you can address that with an air purifier as part of your solution. So mold is a fungi, and fungi exist, or molds exist everywhere. You know, that's what breaks down leaves, it breaks down branches or dead trees. Um, and, you know, they exist everywhere in the air. They enter your home. And so and that's really where it becomes an indoor air quality issue in that when mold starts to grow in your home, you know, it can create an allergic reaction. It can create um, asthma issues. It could create VOCs from that musty um, smell that you, you know, that you've noticed, especially in basement type areas. And so how do you deal with that? And so with any air quality issue, there's three main strategies. The first being source control, ventilation, and air cleaning. And source control is really addressing the issue at the source. And for mold, the source is water or moisture. And so if you have a water leak, you really have to fix the leak. Um, that may not always be possible, or it may just be a humidity moisture issue that's very difficult to overcome. Now, for that case, I would say a dehumidifier is a great tool if your air conditioning system isn't able to, to keep up with it. And ideally, you want to be in the 30 to 50% humidity range, ideally closer to 30 to really, really keep mold from growing. Um, but once it starts to grow, it really becomes problematic. And you want to remove the mold spores from the air so it just doesn't spread um, throughout your home, especially the area where moisture is present. And that's where an air purifier comes in. And mold is, you know, from an air purifier standpoint, relatively larger in size. It's typically two to 10 microns, which is, which is pretty large. And so a filter like a HEPA filter is perfect for capturing, you know, those size particles. It'll capture, you know, pretty close to 100% of particles in that, in that size range. And so in that case, you just want to make sure your air purifier is sized properly for your room. And so the general rule of thumb is take your room size in square feet, times it by two thirds, and that'll give you the CADR that you need for the air purifier, which is the certified performance of the air purifier. And at Aronsi.com, we show all the CADR numbers for our HEPA air purifiers. And once you've um, got the right HEPA air purifier, the only other thing to consider is if you have a moldy, musty, um, type of odor, then you're, you're most likely dealing with VOCs or volatile organic compounds. And for that, you're going to need a solid carbon filter. This is our true carbon um, air filter. It's, you know, it's over two and a half inches or it's, it's over two inches deep, um, almost two and a half inches. And, you know, it has a, a lot of carbon over three pounds for <laughs> as densely packed as it is. And that, you need something like that for the moldy, musty um, type odors. VOCs aren't gonna do well with the HEPA filter. They're just gonna kind of pass right through. And so the car activated carbon can absorb that and hold it in and, and make your air, you know, just so much cleaner and fresher. And, you know, that's really it. But I think the key again is source control. Uh, managing humidity levels and then having a high quality HEPA air filter or air purifier uh, that size properly for your space and then layering in some activated carbon, I'd say at least a few pounds if you have a musty type type um, area. And that's, that's most commonly, we see that with basements. And so in some cases you may need a couple units down there just to, to address the, um, the VOC issue.